Sean Higgs coming at you here for a little Conference USA. As always, wherever you're watching, maybe on the Sean Higgs channel, win the free picks, Twitter, Mr. Sean Higgs. I appreciate you watching. Do yourself a favor. Do me, it's not, not only doing you a favor, do me a favor. You're liking it? Super. Give me the old thumbs up. Uh, subscribing, sharing, let it be seen. How about subscribe? If you're on winning free picks, you could join there. It's $4.99 a month. Let me tell you, premium picks included. Listen, besides just supporting the show, it's worth for $4.99 because you're going to get premium NFL, college football, baseball, hockey, NBA, college hoops, whatever's in session. You're going to get a lot. I know people don't like buying picks and stuff like that, but hey, if you check out the Midday Money Show, plenty of free picks, a lot of free content. You get even more if you join up as a premium member to the site. But let's talk some Conference USA. And how about Tuesday, Wednesday games? We don't have to wait for action. No, Tuesday, Wednesday, late September. Thank you, CUSA. We got some graduates, Jacksonville State, Sam Houston State. Welcome to the bigs. You get called up to the big show. Now, you're not Power 5, but you're still up here with the big boys, obviously. You can't win the Conference USA Championship. You're on probation. Ridiculous. I know. It is what it is. Let's get into the top dogs here. Western Kentucky. 125 faves to win this. And, um, yeah, best team. Eight and a half in win column. Uh, eight and a half total for their wins. 13-1 Conference USA. 0-3 versus UT San Antonio. But they're gone. They have left. So, uh, 125, do you want to take it? Sure. It's a little light. I mean, we like big paydays here, and we try not to do, like, even money kind of stuff, but they're the best team. Austin Reed, player of the year in conference, really good. Uh, they're probably a field goal or more better than uh, Liberty, who's up next. So you want to take the 125 here plus money in your pocket? I'm not going to I'm not gonna say no to you there. Now, speaking of Liberty, second best crew here. Possibly. Plus 240 to win, 8.5 win total. I kind of lean under here. And again, the old crew off to Auburn into the SEC. New staff's coming in. And I got to think for this coach. He came in from Coastal, like kind of like a lateral move. It's not like a – I think he'd parlay it into something bigger than going from Coastal to Liberty. But um, no Power 5 schools on the schedule. Excellent. But new staff, new schemes, everything new. Five offensive starters back, three on defense. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna lean a little bit to the under here. Lean under. Now I'll have a show later on with all of my what I bet picks for the conferences. This is a lean. Some there's gonna be nothing for some because I just I, I, I don't have to bet it, folks. You don't have to bet it. You having fun? You're making money. You don't have to bet it. Cool. And, and let's be honest, a lot of people you're not betting futures. I know, I know for a fact because when I do look at lines during the NFL season, people don't want to bet on a Sunday night because they're worried about a Tuesday first basket in the NBA. So I can't see a betting in July for something that's not going to settle for months. Uh, Mid Tennessee State next up here, uh, five to one to win, six and a half on a win total. I'm leaning over here. You got a guys back on defense. I like it. Eight starters back there. Um, top running back is back. New quarterback, yes. I get it. Um, I don't know. I think they can win seven games here. I'm not getting fancy. I'm leaning over. Seven to five. Doable. Doable. Next up, New Mexico State. I like this team. Jerry Kill. The guy can coach. We know that. Problem is that he's got some serious health problems that kind of getting <laughs> – they get in the way. What are we going to do? QB is back. 18 starters back. 20 to 1 win. Now, Western is the elite. But you want to take a stay up here at 20 to 1 with Mexico State? Sure. Six and a half over? Absolutely. I like it. Give me the over here with uh, New Mexico State. Again, got a lot of guys back. I got a decent coach. QB in tow. Let's get it done. New Mexico State. I flipped the page on my paper, but I didn't uh, click the button here to get to the UTEP Miners, the old UTEP two-step Tim Hardaway special back in the day. 10 to 1, 5.5 is your 
Win total juice a little bit here, 135. 15 stars back eight on offense, seven on defense. Uh, you know they're going to run the game here, right? They're going to run it, power run. But you know they have a thousand yard receiver back. How about them? How about those apples there, huh? And looking at the schedule, nice Jacksonville State, Incarnate Wood, who, by the way, I'll be talking about their head coach, who put up like uh, 50 points a game there. He's gone. He he left Incarnate Wood, so a win there at Northwestern. How's that club going to be? Arizona State, UNLV, Louisiana Tech, FIU. I mean, I don't know. You can we can get some wins here. I I, I did a video on. The Mount West, I think it's kind of a middling kind of group there. We got UNLV in the mix. I, I think they can win some games. Give me the over here. Give me the over. Louisiana Tech, nine to one. And again, a little these are out of order. I was just kind of writing them down as it went. It's no particular of who I think is going to finish first, second, third, fourth. It's just I write them in this way. Uh, they're nine to one. Their total is five and a half. Heavy juice for one seventy five. I mean, that was the bet MGM. I'm sure Caesars, Will Hill, they'll have a six. I've mentioned this shopping around before different lines. I, I'm not going to fill up three lines for every single team. Uh, and this one here, I don't really have a feel of either kind of way. Uh, just 12 starters back, eight on offense, four on defense. Uh, big one on offense, though, a new quarterback. He's coming over from Boise. Coach is trying to bring the air raid into town. So, again, fifth-year senior here or a five-year starter, whatever he was in, in Boise, 29 starts on his belt, that's fine. The offense, again, eight starters back. Could get it done offensively. They could. Um, again, for me on a – to put my money in, even to say I like yes or no, over or under, nah, no thank you. FIU. This guy's lost the game 73 to nothing last year. The total is now three and a half, up from two and a half, 80 to one to win. 12 starters back, five offense, seven defense. It's got to get better, right? You lose 73, nothing team's got to improve a little bit. Um, again, at two and a half, uh, do, you, do I want to go under three and a half here? The over is up to a minus 125. They think this team's going to be improved a little bit, as it should. I like the coach. Um, I don't know. Two and a half, yes. Uh, three and a half, I don't know. Not so much. Not so much there. Next up, the newbies coming to town. Can't win because we're new. Four and a half win total for Jacksonville State and Rich Rodriguez, that guy. Remember Richie, old Rich Rod? Nine and two last year, but uh, you played a big guy. You lose 54 to 17. You got 11 of those on your schedule this year. Now, they're not all Tulsa's, you know. And again, they're not all Alabamas. They're not all FIU teams who get blown out seventy-three to nothing. Uh, I would I would lean probably to and under here, um, but I didn't even I didn't even write in for this one. No, no, thank you. Uh, with this club here, I don't know. We'll see. This is a we'll see her. Next up, though, oh yeah, Sam Houston State, right down the road from me here, Texas. They're nearby. My neighbor down the street is a big Sam Houston alum. Maybe he played for him because I don't know. He's a younger kid. Big Sam Houston flag in the garage. Uh, three and a half. I'm going over this win total. I got lean. It might be just a straight up yes over by the time I do my um, college football. Like, hey, who, who, what futures do you have? So five and four last year. Ten to one and 11 one before that. They had a championship. And they had two other um, – Another two two other championships, I should say this. It the way I have it worded here, I apologize. So they're ten to one, eleven one. They did win a championship, or it should be ten and zero. I, I made a mistake. It's ten and zero. They had a ten and zero season, eleven one. They did win a championship, and the coach got two other championships as well back in 2011, 2012. They redshirted a lot of guys last year out of the gate. Um, I don't know. Uh, seven offensive, non defensive players back. I think this team's going to be pretty decent. So I like the over here. I like the over. Apologize for the wrong numbers up in the chat. Um, but, again, as the Conference USA, I want to put the little thing back up here so everybody knows where to find everything. There you go. Twitter, Mr. Sean Higgs. Give it a like. You want to comment, right? I mean, listen, I do a quick little rundown, 10, 15 minutes on the conferences. 
just to kind of get it out there for people. If you're a fan of a team, you you know more than me right now at this point. Probably, I'm I'm more of a you know when they, they the games come out, I'm more of a a day to day or Saturday Saturday, however you want to word it. That kind of uh, dive it into, but you you got to know a little bit about stuff going into the season. I'll tell you my thoughts on the teams. It's what I do. Appreciate everybody taking uh, ten minutes of your day. Thank you. You can always watch these in podcast form as well.